Good morning, everybody. This is Danny at Parte. So yet another inappropriate video uh, from Luminous 4K. And I'm going to explain in just a minute why uh, it is inappropriate, especially for those individuals who are out there right now, maybe with Christmas coming up and they're doing some research uh, into the type of screen or screen solutions that they can use with their projector. Uh, so I'll get to that in just a second. Let me first say um, this ad here, this upload is about a silver screen. Silver is one of the easiest, it actually to me is, other than white, is the easiest color to deal with. But it can also, and, and when I say easiest, you can actually buy premium silver metallic paint and just use it alone. Just use it as a coat. Um, and in many cases, especially according to the size of the projector uh, that you're using, when I say size, the number of lumens, so if you're using anywhere from, say, 1,500 lumens and below, and your projector is going to be setting anywhere from about 8 to 10 feet back, you'd be fine with just a silver screen in many cases. Now, I'll explain why it's not always the case, and that's because silver can be very harsh. Uh, I've done some displays. If you choose to go back and research in, in some of my past videos, I've done displays of silver and shown where you could do some really cool things with silver and for a, a budget, uh, you know, on a budget of anywhere from about 12 to $15, you can do some really cool stuff with silver. Um, this video, the silver that screen that's being used here, is, I would even say, not as good as the silver that we've reflected in some of our past videos. And the reason for that, you can see that this is spotting pretty bad right here. And that's one of the problems you run into when you don't know how to work with metallics is that you're going to get these hot spot areas. You're going to get these high shine areas in places like here. And then you'll notice it's darker over this direction, right? Because that's where the center of the projector light is actually hitting. Now you say, well, why is it hitting right here? Well, that's because he's on an angle. So as you move over, that spot's going to move over with you, right? And that's exactly what's happening here. Um, so let me explain why it's inappropriate. These top end, and I say top end, these are some of your more expensive screens. Some of them are, some of them are actually a little antiquated right now, but there, there's newer stuff out there. But the reality is, is look at these. These are all crumpled up, all messed up. You know, if you're going to do a comparison, one reason I don't do comparison, folks, is because, one, if you're going to do it, it needs to be done by somebody independent so that you make sure that all the aspects of the comparison are like-to-like, -like, or at least as close to like-to-like -like as you can get them. Because when you don't do like-to-like, -like, essentially you could pick any screen, and that's sort of what's happened here. Hold on just a second, let me grab my remote. Sort of what's happened here is there are some screens that have been chosen here that really have more to do with um, trying to gain high gain this screen right here, you're going to notice, is really bright in a scene that I'm going to show in just a second. So this is a very high gain. This is a very high gain. But if I'm going to do a comparison, why would you not take, even if you use, say, the largest, this one or this one, why would you not make a small panel of yours and show it in line or in a you know cube, however, whatever, configuration you want to use why would you not compare yours that way because that would be more like for like instead he's going to show his very large and then put these little square crumpled up patterns here from these old sample sheets and it's not like you can't buy new sample sheets new sample sheets are not that expensive so i don't do comparisons but if you want to do comparisons at least make sure that you do justice by these guys and not have their crap look like this I mean, this is this is crappy looking here. So automatically, he starts you off with, look at these crample, crumpled up <laughs> sample sheets, and let's let's have you look at that. But then, as we get into the video, you'll see even more. So I'm going to pause and get us to a point, and I'll be right back. Now I want to show you, even from this distance, you can tell this is superior, superior, superior. This one looks pretty washed out. Actually, this one looks a lot like his. Now, I'm not sure. I'm not going to go back through and listen to the whole video. But this one here is as washed out as his is. What you'll notice is these aren't. These are screens that are specifically designed to give you high angle. 
or, or high reflectivity, excuse me, um, but they're going to lose on side angles. So it's not a fair comparison. The, these aren't meant to have a 160 degree viewing angle. These are meant to have somewhere in about a 90 ballpark, um, 90 degree uh, viewing angle, but give you high reflectivity straightforward because most people that use these use these in a dedicated theater space where the room's more long than it is narrow or, or, or wide. Um, so you don't have a need for a 160 degree viewing angle. So you're trying to make a comparison, he is here, saying, look how great my viewing angle is compared to these. Well, yeah. Yeah, because paint generally will always have a 160 to 180 degree viewing angle. It's always going to. Every every paint that I've ever used is going to give you the full viewing angle. And the reason for that is because it's completely opaque, right? So everything is surface. Everything is surface. These do not work that way. These work the same way that our screens work, where they're multi-layered, and there's things going on within the screen that produces that reflectivity back. None of that's going on here. You can see just how that light has washed the silver out there. And silver is very easy to wash out unless you know how to create one that will prohibit a lot of that. Uh, and seven years in, as I've always said, seven years in, and he still hasn't been able to achieve that. So I'm going to pause again. Here we are again. Okay. So you can see... The reason, now, if you took this image right here and blew this up to the size of his, this would look much more spectacular than anything that's going on through here. Same here, same here. Maybe not as much here, but definitely same here and same here. Those screens are designed to give you that kind of articulation of color, that kind of definition. What you see is this here. Everything's just diluted. It's, it's like you take red and add some water to it, and now it's washed out pink. The colors look the same here. And this is what you're going to work, work towards, you know, spending, say, $300 to, to get this kind of product whenever you could do this at home. Ladies and gentlemen, you could do this at home for less than $15. That's the reason that me and other of my colleagues come after this guy. There's no jealousy here. There's nothing to be jealous. Why would I be jealous of this? And if you take silver screen paint and do it in your home, you're going to see the same results. Okay? So if you don't believe us, try it. And then you can come back. And if you think that we're wrong and that we're harshly judging this guy's product, the point is, is that the reason I come after this guy and I come after him regularly is because most of his stuff is just hack paint. That's it. It's just hack paint. But he sells it as ambient light rejection, which it is not. He sells it as gain times three, which it is not. And ask yourself, what does gain times three? Go out and look up industry standards and see what gain times three. You're not going to find gain times three out there because it doesn't exist. This is just something he came up with. He used to use 12 time color enhancement. I see that that sort of dropped off the ball there because enhance from what? 12 times from where, uh, you know, these are just made up fabrications. And that's the reason I will not let up on this guy, because quite frankly, this, this is, this is very, very scam artist type material. So just more information for your pocket. If you want to, to look into good screen paints, I would say go out, look at Crow 1176, look at Sonic Chill, look at Phantom HD Illuminate. Uh, those guys have some quality products that won't break the bank. Um, you're going to pay three to four times more for this stuff, and it's not worth it, folks. It is definitely not worth it. Take it from a professional who does installations with these things all the time. It is not worth it. You guys have a good day. Take care. Bye.